I'm Cormac McSweeney in Ottawa. Some of the key themes for this federal budget are innovation, skills training, and infrastructure. And here to break down what it all means for Canadians and the economy, I'm joined now by McLean's Ottawa Bureau Chief John Geddes. So, John, I guess first of all, what's your overall impression of this budget and what the government's trying to achieve? Overall impression is it's it's modest. You know, if, if you compare it to last year's budget, where they were putting almost four billion a year on the table for in, in measures for middle class Canadian families, the child benefit, a tax cut, it's four billion a year. This year, if you take 25 programs that they have under the heading of skills and innovation, they get about a billion dollars a year out of that. So that just gives you an idea. This is a more modest budget. All right. So not a lot of new spending at yeah. all, uh, but they are divvying up cash for innovation, for skills training. Yeah. It's a long term goal to create. Yeah jobs and boost the economy after yeah. looking at their strategy do you think it's actually going to work I don't think we'll know for a number of years just to take one example they've made quite a big thing Minister Morneau has about his new Canadian Innovation Bank when you look at the budget it's a Canadian Innovation Bank where they're allocating 15 billion over 11 years you know 15 billion sounds like a big number when you start stretching it out over 11 years you see dribs and drabs of sort of hundreds of millions a year coming up very difficult to imagine that revolutionizing revolutionizing Canadian infrastructure spending where we already have billions of dollars flowing through the old program so the new stuff just doesn't look that big I guess you have to give the government a chance and see a few years out of whether or not these things start to you know, have impact that Canadians can see. On infrastructure, yeah. uh, we already knew that they were going to pump a lot of money into it. Yeah. It was where that money is going to go. They're talking about putting it into uh, green infrastructure, public transit, yeah. affordable housing. Yeah. But as you just alluded to, it's it sort of divvied up in all these little areas and spread yeah. out over multiple years. Is that enough to actually make the difference that cities and provinces are looking for? I think cities and provinces think about it in terms of individual projects, right? So if you go to a city that's going to get funding for a new mass transit project, they're going to say, yeah, this is going to make a difference. It's, it's the problem is whether or not that translates into, first of all, measurable economic activity. Most of the bank economists I do think that, you know, you take all those little drips and drabs and add them up and they do have an impact. And whether or not individual Canadians look at that and can sort of sense that the federal government is, is in their backyards doing stuff, and that's as much a measure of political salesmanship as it is about budget making. So this is the first budget uh, since U.S. President Donald Trump took over the White House. Yeah. Um, what impact do you see in terms of the U.S. President and his policies on this budget, if at all? There's a lot of speculation mm -hmm. that the government may have been holding back a little bit to see what happened south of the border. It is possible they held off on some uh, tax changes. For example, there was a thought that they might come up with something more to bite the upper class or you know upper income earners in Canada. There's nothing like that in the budget. So the idea is that it's possible they held off to see what Trump does with high income earners because the idea you know there's a there's a fear in Canada sometimes of a brain drain or a talent drain if we have our high income tax bracket get too out of whack with US rates so possibly there but I think overall Cormac this is a budget that was constrained more by the deficit the federal government has you know 25 billion dollars roughly rather than by any external factors all right thank you very much John Geddes Ottawa Bureau Chief for McLean's Magazine and I'm Cormac McSweeney in Ottawa for City News